Hello everyone and welcome back to some video in today's video we're gonna be trying out LRs on every team. Basically we're gonna try out every LR in the game. And we're all gonna put them, we're gonna put them on teams and we're gonna see how they're gonna go. So some of the teams may have two LRs in them, mainly because I don't wanna to have to record one team for every LR in the game, especially when I can use a team like this, which of course has Galland and uh, Glocks in it, because I don't I don't really have the fairy team for Glocks, so it's not worth me even trying it. So I might as well stick them on a team I know is gonna work on. Of course, I've got Gallant here as well. And I thought, you know, why not try out this team? Of course, we'll bring back AM Melee because every other Melee doesn't really care. I could have run Perg, but I don't think my Perg's high enough level. Mr. Demons, Perg, um. Demons. The only words for Demons, so yeah, you wouldn't even work with Glocks anyway. But anyway, this team should hopefully do quite well, I'm hoping for at least. We have 249,000 CC, which is absurd for these characters, you know, if you were to realise that they're LR, maybe you think otherwise. But, you know, Gallant's a very old character in terms of his initial release date. Pretty much everyone here, this guy is the latest, the most current, up-to-date release of everyone on this team. I'm pretty sure he, he uh, the only one who's not his 6 is Melly. But anyway, let's get on with it. I will also only be doing three matches per team, just so um, maybe it'll, it'll be better. Also, the reason I'm running Gallon on the left side is to counter Gotha. Uh, Gotha gets basically completely countered by this man, so why not? Uh, oh, Melly's the one who's got the Coerce, which is kind of nice. They don't have any buffs on them, so I'm just probably going to do this turn one. And we're going to smack him as well. I don't want to debuff him. Right, so, get a little bit of chip damage on there, and then bonk. Not too bad, it removes all gauge as well. Okay, Melly's pulling some skills. I would prefer him pull the Amplify skill, so we can hopefully kill there, Melly. Okay, Galland, you have not... Okay, Galland's probably going to die, but that's completely fine. Right? Galland's mainly here as a tank. Yes, he basically has a 50% defense related stat boost from a mixture of Glocks and his own passive. He is trying to go for Glocks, I don't know why, but okay. Uh, Melly... Uh, do I push for Melly's ult? Or do I just do this, this, and then like... I kind of want to see if Gallon can kill. Okay, Melly, that was... you didn't crit, that's very underwhelming. Damage, please. Okay, Gallon, come on, mate. Oh, God, 215k. Go on, Gallon. I have now removed the only person who can petrify, which means... Uh, sorry, yeah, who can be petrified? Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get wiped now. Even if I pull a golden melee skill, I'm pretty sure I'm getting wiped. Uh, we tanked it. Yes, let's go for Gallon. He does kill Gallon. I'm not sure if he gets the, the, uh, the stat boost from it, though. He does. Okay. He's now... Okay, best thing that's happened is that... I'm going to die to uh, Eskinal's ult. That's what's going to happen. Yeah, this team isn't the best. I'm not going to lie. I might switch to Perg. Let's see how Perg gets on. Because then Perg is, is kind of a threat as well. I can't kill him. Like, Melee just can't power enough damage. I don't know why I targeted Liz then. Um... Miss and put. Yeah, okay, yeah, we can't win that. Anyway, we're gonna try uh, and switch for Perg, I thought Perg would be actually a better match for this team. Here we go, new team. Hopefully this should go a little bit better. Uh, we now have Perg in the middle instead. I also gave Red Tomiel to uh, Gallon. Just so he'd be a little bit more useful. Okay, that's good. Once again, don't want to debuff them, so I am just gonna sort of play these skills. Play this first, and then I'll get a stack of Melly's passive down, just in case they decide that they don't want to um, attack. Well, they upgrade and then attack, basically. Um, who am I most scared of here? Probably Eskinor. Melly, if you remove Eskinor, Melly isn't really that strong. Goes for Gallon. Gallon has Rotomio. Plus, he's also got Melly's damage reduction, which is now lost because Melly's taken the damage. And then the AoE, which is actually fine. If we tank, thank goodness. Um, I feel like I just do this. 
And we just try and kill it. What level is it? What should be 6-6? Six, six? Why does everyone in these low ranks have an Escanor high level, bro? So stupid. And Melee can't even kill. Okay. With the damage boost. And the increased damage boost even higher. There we go. Thank you. Okay. Mel in the back, that's fine. With the new summon Melon headpiece. They are just gonna go straight for if it upgrades it gets petrified. Doesn't upgrade, okay. Go straight for him, that's fine. We just consume it. Goes for an AoE. Doesn't get the upgrade. No, it does get the upgrade, and I'm dead anyway. Okay. I've I've yeah, this team is like not though. This team isn't very good. These LRs aren't good. Galen's probably one of the worst LRs in the game. Like, look at this team. He just can't deal with the mer. Like, yeah, he's sort of built to counter, like, pet he's got petrified, you know, it's meant to counter the mer. It doesn't work very well, unfortunately. Because these AIs don't know how to upgrade. Antiverse natural player. Here we go. This this will be their final match. Okay, Antiverse a, a demon's team. Okay. Oh, okay, that's good. Uh, he, that means he can't debuff us. Um... No, it doesn't matter. Oh, no, it does actually matter. He can't, still can't debuff us. I was thinking about the commandment then, or as the commandments the petrify. It's fine. It was a real play. That was a real player? Running that team? My guess is that this is a returning player. Not, uh, like, a, a player who's been playing for a while. Because there was no way... This is an old team. That's like a, a last year's team. And that's going on the back. Okay, yeah, we're going to switch teams. Uh, who are we run now? We're going to go with Demons again, but this time we're going to probably run Zell and LR Melly and see how they get on. We are now on to our second team. So this second team uh, is Melly, Zeldris, Gelda, and then LR Liz in back. LR Liz is in back just so we can get some extra stats, really. Uh, that's it. Um. Okay, of course. Okay, this person must be a whale, I'm guessing, because... Yeah, okay, it's a whale. <laughs> no way on earth you have 6-6. Six, six. Um, what's her name? Victoria. Just from summoning, without having to spend a little bit of money on that. Unless you really saved for that collab. And then getting 4-6 Escanor as well. Highly unlikely. I do really badly probably need to kill Escanor. Boom. Big stat boost. Goes for Gelda. Okay, she's got Rotomio. But they've actually fallen for my trap now. I wanted them to go for Gelda. And there's a reason why I want them to go for Gelda. Because now, you've upgraded my melee. Which is actually... This guy's... This, this guy's Escadal's like worst threat is my melee. And what has he done? Giving me the resources I need to wipe the team, I think. Hopefully, possibly, maybe. I do have uh, melee's relic here, so he's going to absolutely vaporize this Escadal. As you saw. Uh, and then Gelda can do Gelda things. Which is apparently not much damage. Okay, thank you, Gelda. So the only... Okay, he did get the upgrades. Got, okay, that explains why he tanks so well. He's got Percival in back. I feel like my team's still going to get wiped. I feel like if he... Maybe if Zell survives, I win. But he's probably going to merge... Um, okay, so he's definitely got a, a golden skill. It's like probably an AoE. He's got an AoE and a single target. So I don't think he used any melee skills. It's going to be an AoE, and I'm going to get wiped. Because melee's, like, so busted. Watch. Yeah, I, and I lose. Like, it's, it's the problem with melee. I feel like melee was not tested very well. Okay, Gelda somehow survived. Okay, go on, Gelda. The, the clutch, maybe? No, she's dead to this. Yeah, melee should not have been as strong as he was. He was too broke. He should have been, like, released after a year. Because it's stupid. I do feel like the Sins team in general, even with like Percival and Back, it makes it even stronger. I don't know why Percival works with Sins at all. Uh, and I don't know why he's not got the Fortnite's characteristic. But you know, maybe they'll get added later on. Here we go. Second match time. Let's see how this goes. If it will load. Okay, this person's in there. It's probably not the best. <sighs> I might as well have a drink whilst we wait. There we go, and of course it's Sins again. I feel like everyone in these low ranks only uses Sins. Don't, don't feel like they actually know what any other character is in this game apart from a Sins team. They also all have like horrible in there. What's going on? There we go. Um. 
I feel like I merge. I don't want to give Melee the buff immediately. So I'm probably just gonna um pretty this and then this. I wanna kill Eskinoy Ace up. That's not much damage. I need to heal, please. Okay, that, that's not bad damage. The second hit wasn't bad. Because I don't want to debuff. If, if possible, the last thing I want to do is debuff them. Okay, we've got a Zell merger, which is quite nice. Let's see how this goes. Hopefully, it should be fun. Hopefully, I said. Uh, it's probably going to upgrade, and then probably go straight for Gelder. Which is fine. Which is actually completely fine. Go to AoE first, so I actually get the upgrade. I get Melee's upgrade, so Melee uh, will get a little bit extra stats. She might not tank this. She tanks it, okay, she tanks it. They, they, they need to do 75% to kill her. Because now, what I can do is we're going to uh, single target AoE and then probably single target with melee. So the reason I'm doing this first is I, I let Gelda heal as much as possible from type advantage. Then once again I let her put even more damage out, and then mainly across the entire team before then this happens, which is now they get the damage reduction. And now we wipe. We don't. Okay, thank you LR melee for being useless. Damage, please. I didn't check the ult level, probably 6-6. Six, six. Can't wait to lose. Okay, no. Probably like 2-6. And Zell him back? Hey, yo, another Zell user. Kind of weird to see, but okay. Um, he can't get the attack related stat boost. If he AoEs, uh, Melee gets the rank up. And he, if he doesn't kill Gelder, I think I can just wipe with Gelder. I'm kind of scared of um, Zell, though, because Zell can just one shot Gelder if I play my cards wrong. That's fine. Get the heal. Probably another AoE. Goes from a single title on Melee. Okay. Melee dies. That's, that is completely A-OK. -okay, because none of my team cares about a full Demon's team. If they did, I would be in a little bit of trouble here. Now this is where Gelder can shine. So we're going to AoE again. Actually, no. What I probably am going to do, if I can play a card, please. Um, okay. Okay, here we go. So I'll one-shot you, I then AoE, and then we super tie. So the reason I'm killing Gotha, Gotha provides, is currently providing him with basic stats, so... And he missed the crit, that's the reason I AoE'd, for safety, just in case. Look at that damage! I just have to play smart with this team and just not use debuff skills. But there we go. Basically the win. Now it's just Zeldris alone against Gelder. I don't think he can- yeah, and there's the full fit. And there's the win. We did get hard carried by Gelder, but this team was like heavily, heavily built around Gelder. And now we'll go on to the final match with these, uh, these lovely two, well, lovely three outlaws actually, Lizard and back as well, which is helping quite nicely with the HP for Gelder. On to the next match. On to the final match with uh, Zeldris, Melee, and Liz. We also Sab, which I've not versed in like ages. Maybe I was like two Sabs in the entirety of uh, her release, and they pulled it. Okay. Okay, on to the next character. I have no idea who it's going to be, but on to the next one. On to the first match with another team. So, oh, okay, humans team. We have LR Escanor, we also have Chaos Arthur, we have Yuri, and as well, we have uh, Percival and Black. Um, start working on Escanor. Actually, no, I'm going to do this. So, we do this, we do this, and then we do this. I did just under damage cap, which is fine. We do a little bit extra damage here. And then we lower all their damage dealt by 10%. With Yuri's passive, which is quite nice. We also have the ability to remove stance next turn as well, because we have Yuri, who is a level 1 stance removal character, which is lovely. Pretty sure this is a bot, because they just AoE'd with North me turn 1, which is not something you would do. I'm hoping this team should tank pretty well, because we are getting 30% defense related stats from Purcell and back, as well as getting 30% uh, uh, crit resistance and crit defense from Yuri, uh, which can be quite nice. means the team will tank uh, much better, hopefully. Uh, what I will do... 
is I'm actually gonna double AOE and then just single target. No, uh, AOE single target AOE. Because I want Nelfie to pop the stance. I don't care if Arthur gets disabled. It's completely fine if Arthur gets disabled. Big damage. And then maybe we get the revival on me here as well. Okay, we do. That means we also get the infect off. That's nice. Cool. Uh, we are a little bit lower health now, but that's fine. Arthur is also disabled. Uh, he should... No, he won't cleanse. Okay. They're probably going to nulf me stance, then AoE single type with Arthur. If I had to guess. I would like some other cards apart from Yuri, please. That would be nice. Because single target, Arthur tanks it, gets the heal. Uh, and then Buzzle. Okay, not, that's not too scary. We can actually remove uh, nulf me stance and kill him. No, we can't. Uh, actually, we can. No, we can't. Can I just get the kill on it with Arthur? Arthur's disabled, right? But he's still got the damage increase. Actually, no, I say we just do this. I'll play it safe. I remove the stance. And this may even kill. Because Yuri puts out a lot of damage. Now he's AoE sealed, which is nice. That seals one ha one card. It's good damage. He actually landed the crit, which is quite nice. And then Arthur finishes the job. Now it's just not for me. Who I'm not too afraid about. And, of course, Percival as well, who can actually put out some quite decent damage. I would like some Escanor cards, please. This is an Escanor team, please. Uh, okay, Rush's Nolf Mizol. It's a bot, which is pretty standard. This is the old Gage removal skill again. It's not the DPS skill, so I'm not too afraid. Uh, this will probably just wipe the team. Uh, Purcell will probably live, which is fine. We'll lower his damage dealt some more, and then we are the single target. Good damage, please, Nolf me. Sorry, not Nolf me, Arthur. Good damage. Uh, Arthur will kill her, 100%. You already to do some half decent damage as well. She lands the kill. Okay, there we go. This team is quite good though. We have uh, some good support characters. And we've got Eskinor, who's actually quite a good DPS. On to the next match. On to our second match with Eskinor now. Let's see how this goes. A Sins team. Okay. So I don't really want to have to debuff him. Uh, what I will do though. Eskinor got a merger, so what I'm immediately going to do is uh, lower his damage dealt by 20%. It's a real player, that's good to know. We'll lower the damage dealt quickly by 20%. Now he is doing 20% more less damage than his first skill will then make him so he does 30% less damage. Because he'll have max stacks. Oh, lots, lots and lots of damage skills with Eskinor, which is quite nice. Uh, my AoE single target, single target. Melee won't get the rank up, which is nice. I wonder who they're going to go for. Because Eskinor's currently got 60% crit resistance, 60% extra crit defense. And Arthur's got, like, 100% extra crit defense because of his own passive. Yeah, I don't think going for Arthur's probably the best play. I'm not going to lie. Even with a level 2. I have so much health, I'm just going to, like, heal so much. That's fine, he just disabled his own... He, he will cleanse it, right? Because, of course, it's... This man, he'll just cleanse it. He has damage lowered. Uh, yeah, we'll just go for the kill. We'll just AoE and then double single target, and then we get the kill. Cool. And we'll also get Arthur's ult as well, I'm pretty sure. Maybe we do, maybe we don't. I don't actually know. Okay, land the crits. Nice. Cool. Arthur's got ult now as well, which now makes Arthur more scary. Uh, he does get double cleanse. He gets two orbs. Uh, no, I don't think it's possible for him to get ultimate. He was 1-6. Okay, he was 1-6. That's good. I thought he was at least 2-6, but makes it a little bit easier. And we Arthur all... This team is quite good because you have a lot of basic stat boosts. So uh, Arthur provides 15%. Yuri provides 15%. And then we have a lot of like sub-defense stats. Insane. Like a boost. I don't think we have 30% resistance, 60% crit defense, 60% crit resistance, and then Arthur's getting an extra 40% crit resistance on top of that due to his passive. Sorry, 40% on top of his on top of his passive. Uh, this might kill me if he is always bonds at a higher level. Okay, he tanks it. That's nice. And then we heal. That's lovely. Okay, so there is something I can do here, which is this. Because if I kill his um, melee, I win. Because his bond's disabled. His ultimate's disabled. So we do this. 
we then do this, and then we do this. So the reason we ult with Arthur first, big damage. And also the, the buff, which is quite nice. Because Arthur can actually use the buff. Even though he had, uh, whatever his name is. Red, Red Tomulink on Merlin. What? Go on, Escanor. 219k. Let's go. Good damage. Very good damage. I have no idea what I'm going to do for the thumbnail for this video. There's so many characters in it. And this person's in there is completely horrendous, which is lovely. Can the game end, please? Or are they doing the internet? They may be in this moving. Anyway, next match. Now we are on to the final match with LR Escanor. Ooh, okay. There she does our outfits. I can remove the buff. Uh, maybe I try and kill you. I don't want to use more than a more more than a single target. I only want to use single targets at the moment. Do some damage to hell. Lower to hell's damage dealt as well. I have a lot of crit defense, so Sub's going to easily be able to crit me. Uh, whatever name is can as well. Victoria can quite easily as well. I'm not sure if Hell Hell might struggle to crit me here. Okay, that did a sizable amount of damage. Victoria AoE will probably do a nice chunk as well. To Arthur, it did like nothing. They should have played that first. Then it would have actually had an effect to it. Did reapply the buff though, which is kind of irritating. Uh, what I might just do is this. So we remove her stance again. We then AoE with Arthur here. Victoria is going to have her buff, but I am not too scared of Victoria because now we're removing Hell, which means now she won't get the insane amount of damage dealt. Increased. There we go. Okay, Eskinor will probably die. Arthur should be completely fine. Yuri should be completely fine. Okay, just a spam of her skill. Arthur should tank this. Yep, 50k. He's just going to heal it. I have so much crit resistance and crit defense that Arthur's just going to face tank everything. Everyone did. That's that's a buffed Victoria right there, and everyone survived. Okay, now we are now just stuck with Arthur. Which is fine. Okay, she got disabled, and I got single target disabled. Okay, so I guess I'm just gonna seal your skills then as well. If you're gonna do that, I'm gonna do that too. Um, yeah, I think we just orush. Why not? We remove the buffs, and then we uh, seal Sab's hand and her roll and her AoE skills. So now she's only got her single target skills and Nanoshi skills. Level two single target. We should just full heal it. Doesn't even crit me. Uh, cause it doesn't have sever because she's disabled. Here we go. We're fine. Just, just still so much health. And now we can just ultimate remove, remove. Hopefully this ult should full wipe. I'm hoping at least. There we go. Thank you, one six Arthur. I appreciate it. Big damage. Yeah, like, Escanor is still quite good. He's not, of course, he's not as good as the new Escanor, and that's the reason why he's sort of been replaced, but he's still quite decent. On to the next LR now. Now on to our next LR, which is Margaret, which we are running Mael, Margaret, Queen Liz, and Tristan back for the extra defense-related stats. And let's see how this goes. If it will load. There we go. Okay, Sin's team is to be expected. We're going to versus Sin's team. Um... And that's a okay with me. The person's internet's absolutely atrocious. All for Escanor. One six. Okay. Uh, you will be my victim, Mr. Escanor. Um, I'm probably going to waste all my list skills. Don't kind of want them. She's kind of useless at the moment. I don't mind she gets disabled either. I can just cleanse it. I also need to get some damage dealt, so I can do a little bit extra damage with Mr. Mael. Okay, Liz, that's pitiful. Liz was the last SSR base festival to release, so that's the reason why she's so donkey. That's the reason why she's so bad, unfortunately, for her. 
Okay, I can now Margaret buff next turn, and then we're going to kill Mr. Eskador. They're probably going to rank up and then immediately go for my Mael, because I have Mael Relic, and he's quite a scary part. Maybe not. We have a lot of defense. They're probably still going to be able to crit me through this, because he has a lot of crit chance. Or not. Okay, my oh, Mael took so many. Okay, they go for Margaret. Double kill on Margaret, maybe? No, they're going to get the single kill on Margaret. Okay, good. Thank you, Liz, for the revive. Uh, so now what I can now do is cleanse and then double single target into Eskinal because now he doesn't have the damage uh, the damage cap anymore. I should use the level one, then the level two. But I use the level two first, like an idiot. It's good damage, very good damage, in fact. Uh, and now we get the kill, which means things. I, I'm not using debuff skills at the moment because I know if I start using debuff skills, he they're just going to be able to benefit off of it. Melly will benefit off of it. Merlin drops in. I can actually benefit off of Merlin. Because I can cleanse it and then get more uh, crit damage, crit chance. Goes for the melee rank. If they kill Margaret, that's kind of good for me because I get a, basically a whole new hand. Goes for single target. Doesn't even kill. <laughs> uh, goes for an AoE. This should. Uh, maybe It'll trigger the res on Margaret, 100%. There you go, there's the res on Margaret. Um, what I now do is I can now sort of get my L's ult. And then I'm going to pop another Margaret buff just to be a little bit more irritating. They do have the, of course, the ability to remove my ult gauge with melee, but this is more irritating to deal with. And I don't revive anymore because, of course, I've only got 1 6 Liz. So, very nice. Super heavy pay to win character. I do kind of want Margaret to die at this point because she is kind of being a slight hindrance on my team. Hopefully, this doesn't kill because that means my, the next skill will do less damage. Please, next hit. Of course. And now I'm going to take a lot more damage because I lost some basic stats. And an extra goddess. It's a gold! Wow! I wish I got given skills like that for free. Never get given gold skills, and never the good ones, or never whenever I need them. You have Rotami or Melee, don't you? Oh, you don't. And you're 5'6! Bloody hell. Yeah, let's just uh, remove you from the field. We're gonna AoE just for the extra damage. Oh, my health is so hard. <laughs> it's so strong. Uh, there we go. There's some basic stat loss for the whole team. And then another AoE. And of course he misses the crit. Goodness sake. I don't think it's going to kill me. Unless he's got like 660, I don't think it's going to kill me. And I also have Cleanse. So, with Tristan. Also, he's damage lowered by 40%. As long as they're not 66, I don't care. 40k. He got, got the Disable. It's supposed to like a, like a, I think newer players seem to wail more in this game. I can just get his ult, it doesn't bother me. 2-6, uh, oh, okay, he's just unlocked the ability to do it. Uh, and I'll just do this, and then do this. Nice one Tristan, good damage. And now everyone's undisabled, and unstunned hopefully. For next turn, Merlin ult. I think I can. The thing is, I hate this debuff. It lasts for so long. Okay, removes my ult. That's fine. Watch this person have like six six Merlin. I feel like I'm the. Only, I feel like I'm the only person that does like doesn't have half these festivals six six. Even though they've been out for like ages, I'm still disabled. She's two six. I'm still just gonna punch her in the skull, which would then stun her. Uh, if I can actually select her. Liz Puncher, and then I get the ultimate again. Force Gotha to keep just removing it. There's the stun, or the cleanse, or they're gonna have to cleanse. My L's still gonna put out good damage because he has a lot of attack related stats and a lot of damage increase at the moment. Now it's just Gotha. And opponent forfeit. Okay, it's a long match of goddesses, unfortunately, but on to the next match. 
on to a, another match with Margaret. Let's see how this goes. Another Sins team. Okay. Um, Liz is the one with... Sorry, Melly's the one with the Tommy Link. That's fine. Uh, yeah, why not? I'll just waste these. I know I'll disable Liz, but I don't care. Maybe I should use the punch and then the AoE again for a little extra damage, but hey, it's fine. She crit this time at least. Cool. I'm hoping this should be enough. If I buff up and then double a, a double single target, I'm hoping this is enough to kill uh, Escanor. Okay, I don't think they can kill us. Taking so much damage. Goes for Margaret. Does Margaret tank it? And the answer is yes. Does she get revived? She doesn't. Okay, that's fine. Now what I do is I now buff up, which gives me a little bit extra crit chance, some extra crit damage, and then I double single target. And because I double a weed last time, I'll actually have uh, maxed out my single target boost, which I, I don't even know what it is for his relic. Okay, hopefully this one can kill, because now it should be boosted a little bit more. Okay, apparently it's so negligible, it doesn't even matter. You know, it's like a it's like a fifteen percent attack related stat boost or like a twenty percent increased damage dealt, which I don't think it really matters that much. Apparently, okay, no revive triggered. Okay, that's good. That's gonna trigger the revive. That does so much damage for such a, a like a a crappy skill. It doesn't crit. Yeah, there we go. And now we lose Margaret. There we go. Goodbye, Margaret. Or Melly can't do anything because it's Tristan. Thank you, Tristan. This man heals so much off doing like basically no damage. Uh, we're going to Margaret buff again. I'm actually going to uh, AoE and then single target. I'm buffing up because I want to survive the hit from uh, melee afterwards. Oh man. Maybe if I would have played Margaret's AoE first and then my L's AoE, I may have been killed, but I didn't want to risk it. And he melee motion to oh, and now, okay. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not playing up with that. I, I should have won that match, but of course, the, the AI naturally merged into skills, because that's how the AI works. They just get natural mergers. On to the next match. Final match with uh, LR Margaret. Let's see how this goes. Uh, oh, it's a different team. Still go first, but it's a different team, which is quite, it's kind of nice to see. Uh, they don't have, like, I can just spam skills and get away with it, basically. That's what this team has. I can just spam and get away. With it, um, I'm gonna my my I'm gonna my LA AOE as well. That's what I wanted to say. Of course, they got a natural merger with uh, where his name is uh, Arthur as well, which is no, sorry, not Arthur Eskinor. Okay, please don't kill. Please don't kill her. Goodness sake! No, he's got a damage increase and a level two single target. Nice. And Arthur got a merger as well. Okay, fair enough. Because this game just hates me. Okay, he just patients that, which is absurd. Because that's a still an Arthur card. Yeah, that's the reason why I didn't want to kill her. Nice. Thank you, game. Um, AoE. Single target AoE. I need to kill Askinor. I can't pub with him. I feel like I'm not even going to be able to kill him. Nope. <sighs> nice. And in the process of trying to kill him, I nearly killed Bon. Wow. So at least she gets revived. So it takes two skills to kill her. Oh, no, there we are. just going to kill her anyway. Okay, fair enough. Yep. Standard Eskimo AoE. Two AoEs. Okay, at least he'll be disabled, though. He'll at least be disabled. Um, I'm gonna AO. What level are you? Four six. I think I'm dead anyway. I'm gonna my AoE just for the a little bit extra damage. I think I'm dead anyway because Arthur's also got. Oh, I just realised. I'm an idiot. 
Liz. Thank you. I'm probably going to die to Arthur. Arthur's probably like 4-6 or like 5-6. Okay, All right, I'm definitely dead to Escanor now. I know he's disabled, but he's 4 6. Okay, I tank it, apparently. I take that. I take that, definitely. Uh, we'll do this, and then we'll do this. Play Liz's ult first, just so I can put the debuff on them, which does absolutely nothing. Okay. I should check Arthur's ult level, because I may have been able to survive it. I'm not too sure, though. Please, Mael, I need you to kill. Thank you, thank goodness you're 4-6. If he wasn't 4-6, he would not have killed. That's a carry from Mael. I feel like Mael's Relic definitely makes the Goddess team half decent, but I also hate the fact if you don't have Liz. If you, if you have Liz 1-6, she's so useless. If you have her 6-6, she's actually good. Once again, it was another bot that had an insanely high level oh, on uh, Escanor, because that's just how every bot seems to have. Uh, on to the final LR, which is Lilia. And now on to our final LR, who is the most recent LR. Ella Lilia. I've also decided to switch up the team a little bit. We have Transcendent Barn here, mainly to help build up Lilia's passive. Oh, sorry, her relic. So, like, turn one. Well, not turn one, but, like, close to turn one, we can just pop off, basically. Um, we're not going to go for a kill this turn. What level are you? Uh, you're one. You're one. Victoria is also one. Okay. What we're going to do? We're going to do this. Uh, actually, no, we're not. We're just going to merge it. We're then going to play that, and then we're going to play this as well. This should apply enough debuffs, so we now have maxed out Lilia's Relic. So much damage are we going to do? Not the most, not going to lie, not the most. Okay, they full cleansed because of Vittoria, nice. Forgot about that. Uh, I can Golden AoE now, with Arthur. And that will also give me Arthur's ult as well. Of course, I might get AoE sealed with Sab here. Okay, we have also we have personal and back. Mainly to help us tank. Double AoE, okay, that's fine. And the third, but now she's disabled. She should have played the other one first. The other one does more. This one does more. That one does a lot more. Should have played that one. They would have gotten away with it. Uh, I think I do this, and then well, you can just remove my ult anyway. Why? Why do I care about? Say, so why do I care about getting my ult? It's just gonna get removed anyway. There's I have no, no reason for me to care. It's just gonna get removed by Gotha. Big damage, and then slap. No more cleansing for you, and no more taunt either. This seems quite tanky. We have 20% damage reduction uh, from Barn. We have the 15% uh, HP boost from Barn. We have 15% basic stats from Arthur. And 30% defense related stats from Percival and back. This might be a little scary. Arthur can tank this, so it's Arthur, I believe. Barn, on the other hand, cannot. Golden Single Tire, can he tank it? This is the ultimate question. He can, Arthur's the goat. He just fully tanked that, no problems. Okay. She's disabled now, so I now care, care even less about her. Uh, we do this. That should hopefully kill, but if not, I'll send these two in afterwards. Okay, thank goodness I did that. There we go. Now we've removed him, we now don't have to worry about cleanses or rank ups. And she has lots of debuffs off her anyway. She's disabled for this turn. Next turn, she'll no longer be disabled. We have Arthur AoE, which is okay. Uh, Lilia's got one stack of her passive at the moment as well. Okay, we've got Arthur's ult, which is quite nice. For next turn. Unless we wipe this turn, which is possible. Victoria AoE. Still can crit a little bit, not too much, and now she's disabled again. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is an AI, because I'm pretty sure a real player would have clocked not to do that by now. And they lost some of their... Oh, we got two more stacks of our passive now, which is kind of nice. Um, I think I just do this, do this, and do this. I don't feel... I feel like this, this might just wipe. Yeah, Lillian might even get the final kill. The final hit. 
Like, Lily's a good support character. The attack lower from her debuff is kind of nice. I think it's 20% attack, uh, I think it's attack rate stats, or it's just attack, I think it's just attack. Yep. Lilia deserves that windscreen. Now on to the second match with Lilia. On to a, another match with Lilia. Here we go. Sin's team. This is the team I was sort of expecting to verse. Unfortunately, because we have like insane debuff spam. Thankfully, we have no buffs. Uh, but also insane debuff spam. Uh, you have a top meal, don't you? You don't? Okay. Uh, I'm just going to see if that's much. See, do as much damage as humanly possible to you right now. Maybe even possibly get a kill, which I highly doubt, but it's possible. Please, Bond, I beg. Oh my god, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Okay, Escanor's got the attack rate stat boost, and of course he's got um, the other boost as well. For the attack rate stats. And he's got a level 2, sorry. That's what I meant to say. Goes for Bond, which is fine for me, I guess. If Bond can just uh, absorb this all this abuse, I'm fine. Double melee AoE, maybe? Okay, he tanked that, which is good. Goes for Lilia, AO Bond survives. I kind of want to kill Asgunor now. I know I always make this mistake of, like, just spamming Arthur skills. But I should kill it. Okay, he's got a lot of health. Um... <sighs> so, I'm just going to do this. This, and then this. So the reason I'm playing the Lilia skill is because Lilia actually has healing with her ability. Also, I'm attacking Eskinor just because I want to get his HP as low as humanly possible. For next turn. Unless Lilia can kill here, then I'll be... I'll be very happy, but I highly doubt it. Yeah, if she would have landed one crit, she would have got the kill, but she is attack release that load, so I'm not going to, you know, charge her for it. It's probably an AoE. 100% AoE has to be. Let's single tie, okay. Arthur, please. Arthur, he just, he consumes it. He is hungry. AoE's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. Okay, maybe not as much as I was expecting. And I think he's actually going to lose HP here because of Lilia. He does. Uh, and now, I add another debuff for Barn. I then add another debuff for Barn, and then I ult. Because Barn does more damage per debuff, so I might as well just apply as many debuffs as humanly possible. And thank you, Barn, for the win. Please win now. Yeah, there we go. Five six bond. Really hard. It's really, really hard. There we go. And on to the final match with Lilia. And this is the final match of the video. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, this video has taken a very long time to record. This is the uh, final match. I have no idea how long this video is going to be at all. Okay. That's that's a whale. Someone has decided they want it to whale on specific characters. Go for it. Be my guest. Um, you're a Tarmio. I don't like you. I'm gonna kill her. I'm gonna, da I'm gonna damage her a little bit first. Weaken her a little bit. Don't wanna kill her straight away. Nanashi and back. What the hell is this team, bro? Some, some like stupid team, that's what it is. Yeah, Liz can't crit. Liz is very out of date already. I think it's because she was the she was the last SSR festival, so it, she kind of like... Eh, she's kind of mid, I'm not gonna lie. In comparison to the others. Uh, we can see if this can kill. So of course I'll apply a few more debuffs here with Mr. Arthur here to Liz. Now trigger the revive. Okay, I don't think I'm going to kill, actually. Oh, so close. Okay, Arthur's disabled. That's fine. Arthur will just cleanse it. Arthur can just cleanse it. Melee's got upgrade. Um, decides to play a melee skill immediately. Two melee skills, in fact. Maybe even three melee skills. Okay. We tank these. Unfortunately, this team... Unfortunately, actually, this team is very good against melee. Very, very good against melee, which is what I like. We just have so much tankiness. Okay, Eskinal got the revive, which is not good. Um, 
think I just do this. I'm gonna lose the ult, right? Or do I just like push it and then just move it? And then Actually I can't. Melly's got ult. I actually need to kill Melly. Uh I'm gonna AoE, single target, and then AoE. Huge damage. Huge damage. Can we get a squad wipe here? Well, how does Eskinal get revived? What? He got killed. Okay, that's stupid. Wait, but <laughs> I forgot they patched it so he doesn't get the extra death damage. So, uh, initially, if Esco had revived, he'd get the death damage again. Like, he would add, the death damage would actually work. But they patched that. It's kind of nice. Deserved it. Yeah, this person, unfortunately, put their money when their mouth is. And it didn't work too well. Unfortunately for them. And fortunately for me. And play all these Lilia skills, because Lilia deserves to, these skills to be played. She's a very good... She, she isn't the worst at all in the game. 100% she's definitely not the worst. I'll say Galland is. He's still so inconsistent. I do lose a lot of HP here, but it doesn't matter. I, I have Lilia's ult, so I can actually remove his buffs. He's also going to lose a chunk of his health. He's actually doing good damage to me. There we go. And then I get an extra little bit of damage still. We do this, we do this, and then we let Barn finish the job. I do like the fact that Lilia, her relic is actually kind of nice. The 50% basic stat boost, even though she's a, maybe on the, the lowest, like, lower CC side of LRs, she can still has quite good stats. Of course, her relic does give a 50% boost, which is why, why that is the, the thing. Okay, it's a bot. But, overall, it's been fun using these LRs, but the problem is some of them are very out of date. And just don't work on any team. Uh, I'm talking about like Galland. You're really just Galland. Like Glocks, if I had the right fairy team, maybe wouldn't be too bad. But I don't have the right fairy team. So it's not the best. But overall, not too bad. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you next one. Goodbye.